Well, okay, people. I guess it's time to you to show around the workshop as it is now. You probably saw parts of it eclipses when I was running around. So it's time to show you. Let's start with the automation process that I made all this way. As you can see, I have placed things, frames above it, and the part to fill the gaps. And since this is the process line, I decide to make to give it an aluminium cover. As as you can see, it's all here. And we have placed some heat vents, so it give you a nice and cool industrial look to it, don't it? This is the other part of the process line, which deals the centrifuge of impurities, the exhaustion of uh, unwanted gases, the alloy smelter for turning nuggets into the ingots, the forger home, why not? The electrolyte to make to us our bauxite and elenite into titanium and probably any future product. The packer that will take it from one side tiny piles and throw the small piles of dust and make holes dust for us. And we have the common machines. Plus, give why me or la the polarizer. Then we have the extract, of course, the arc furnace, and the compressor. And here, just a basic alloy smelter, the cutting saw, and the cleaning the cleaning machine. On the other side, as you see, is the more advanced process line. And since this is a basic machine, I give it a simple plastic cover, just like that. This one is kind of important, so we give it a diamond cover, which is the high voltage auto autoclave and the disassemble. Since they are important, I gave them a diamond cover, just because it looks nice. This is the process line of machines, like it's important. So I make it they follow into the low voltage, medium voltage and high voltage. And I also place cover that follow somewhat that. Bronze, silver and gold. Just like into the Olympics. And as you can see they have exhaustion on the sides. Since here it deals with the data scanning and replication, I give it an emerald cover because it would look nice with it, since emerald is easy to store data according to Greg. This the shaft in the middle is where I store the scanner data orb. Here is where I inject the EU matter and bolt replicators, and there's one in the middle is the output of said replicators. Here is the same thing as the other side. Since this... I'll explain later. And just above the extruders we have this input bus that will hold all the frames and shapes for it. And of course this is empty. I will not make double shots for that. And here we have uh, our first setup of machines that they are almost low voltage and very simple to use and deal with liquids. Here's just where to the scanning machine fluid will output things. And all the waters you already know. This one hold the mold for the solidifier. And here is what I would call the how of shame. These are machines that have little to no use or just one recipe use. A basic furnace, just why not? If I want to smelt just one item, I can do that. This one here is one basic assemble machine that is empty because it's gonna 
hold all molten headstone to be turned into anything that I want from the applied energy stick. And this yellow, it's a medium voltage assemble machine that you hold our glue. So when I need to make more duct tapes, I have a place to start it. And as you can, as you probably can guess, this one has a exhaust on the side because it's very oozy machine. But those one don't have. Why? They do have an exhaustion, but just not in the front or the middle because they are just the one side machines they don't have that much heat generated inside like here so uh, they have it all in the back you see it give us it give it a nice industrial look i like it actually i plan to place some of those heat vents on that floor on the ceiling so it can have a nice the same happened here and this one too have one back exhaustion we cannot let our machines get overheated can we <laughs> and this is just an um, electron pipe colored with light gray it looks nice i like the color it matches so this one just have two exhaustion on its side no they have one on the top <laughs> Safety first. Now let's go outside, shall we? I made a little fountain. Yay, it's not that great, not that, that built. And decided to place somewhat kind of statues around it. So it will look something nice. These are the crop fields, as you can already see. They are finished and following a setup I did long ago, and uh, I kind of found it beauty. So I place it in all on this shape. I believe I have almost all the crops. I probably left some out that I, I really don't need it. Surrounding my area, we have this kind of mountain elevation. That has two heights, so mobs cannot go it normally. Only players with travel, travel boots or jetpacks. Even this one, since it's one block and a half, can get by mobs. On the part where I don't have it, it is just a cactus wall protecting me from any mob that try to invade me. But even so, sometimes I found holes in the, the, the wall. I don't know if it's mob that is doing that or if it's player that passed through me, break it to get out and simply don't replant. And it follows right on this part until this point, and we have a nice flat area where my animals stay. And why that is here? <laughs> and then, and we have my animals to grow and produce and get slaughter for its. Delicious meat. You knew it, you hit. <laughs> Everything is okay, but there is a ship outside. I don't know why. Don't ask me. This is just some trees I planted. This one is from Chowncraft. It is kind of cool to have it, isn't it? This is just beauty. And why of this torch is because sometimes if I left this without a torch, even though this area is completely 
spar proof as you can see that here is not but here you don't have any torch or sight of light close by and we have no mobs spawning here but if I left this without a torch for some reason this place we're gonna get the yellow spawn mark and mouse I can spawn now we have the our little forest to gather wood here not very fancy, not very automatic, -y, just manual, but uh, it's okay, I like it. It's simple and smart. And I have to make some cook cook ovens. Why I can't click you? Need to be somewhat kind of empty handed to click on the cook oven. Here I have crystal oil to make, so I can make lubricant. That's why I need it. Outside that, I would not have it, but that's no other way around. Now on the side of the property, we see that they have the same design of higher steps, so m monsters cannot get in. Except here, that's for players, but that's okay. Why is that torch there? I don't know. And as you can see here, is have the same design from this on the side too. Just to be safe. Oh, I see a little design problem here. And here's the back passage. Now let's get back. I have made this design of the the roof of the building with that and some edge to inside. With some with that gap, I found it's pretty good to me. I found it's kind of charming even. Some place to cover you, so the rain just not fall in your face. And I even made the same design with the house, but with without any gap, and I think it's look good. Now here is the place where I live, and since I moved a lot of stuff away from here, I could make it look more like somewhere in a place when someone, where someone lives. I have my bed here, I have some place to do my Tomcraft research that I have done nothing. <laughs> oh, left a plate here. Some potions. A place to eat. No, 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 no. <laughs> and of course, some place to work on my projects. And yes, I know that I like to sit to work. Why stand still when you can sit down? And all the stuff I had before is basically condensed on the stresses. My tools, some resources, and as you can see, Minerals, minerals, some dirt and combo, minerals and minerals. That is a lot of minerals. And here is where I store my seed bags for building machinery for now and nature stuff. Look at here, I'm working my potions. All oh, is empty. It's okay then. So with that in mind, I am afraid to say that I don't have much thing more to do. I what's left to do now just require a lot of time consuming stuff like make iridium, get some tungsten, make tungsteel and other stuff. But that isn't much left to do anyway. So I guess the nightmare is, uh, is getting to its end. If you be now or later, I still don't know. But anyway, it was a pleasure to do this. So stay tuned for the next time, if you could not have a next time. Probably will, because there is some st stuff left to do. <laughs>